10 o'clock, and we join Peter Jefferson in the newsroom. First, the Apollo 14 moon mission. The launch from Cape Canada has been delayed by bad weather. Colin Riak has been following developments. Just over a minute and a quarter until the launch is due to take place. NASA Mission Control are just uh, giving us the latest details. They're saying this is the heaviest Saturn V ever to be launched towards the moon. Let's listen to them. 60 seconds, mark. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. Still go with the count. First stage, uh, tanks are now pressurized as our status board uh, gives us a rundown on the automatic sequence. 50 seconds and counting. We've now gone on internal power on the internal batteries of the Saturn V as the count continues. 40 seconds and counting, Alan Shepard reports that he's performing his final guidance alignment, the final uh, maneuver the astronauts perform before liftoff. 30 seconds and counting, Stu Russo just said thanks, it's been a good count. 25 seconds and counting, we are still go. 20 seconds, guidance alert, the guidance system now going internal. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff with Apollo 14, 3 minutes past the hour, the tower is clear. Houston is controlling. Have good thrust on all five. 16 seconds, pitch and roll program started. 14 maneuvering to a proper flight course. Here comes the roar across the sands of the Cape. And look at the clouds. Okay, Houston, roll complete. Roger, roll complete. second it's moving now this is the point of course where the three astronauts are pressed back into their seats with a six times their normal weight approaching 2,000 meters per second Houston's in control now. Pass through Max Q. Pass one Charlie. Mark of one Charlie now. That means that they... Clear one Charlie. EDS auto is off. Roger. Two minutes, five seconds are coming up on the snow engine shutdown. They're talking about cutting, cutting out the center engine in the uh, bottom part of the rocket now. This is the engine that cut out early last time, and there was some worry that they might not be able to get into orbit. But this time it has shut down on time, as we just heard. Two minutes, 25 seconds, 25 nautical miles in altitude, 30 nautical miles downrange. Mark, two minutes, 35 seconds are coming up uh, on staging. Roger. And separation. Roger. Ignition on five. Roger. So the and staging. Uh, the Shepard crew now riding on five. Good second stage engines. On five engines. Roger. We confirm good thrust on all five. So it all seems to be going very well so far. And in about nine minutes or so, they should get safely into orbit round the Earth. And they'll sort themselves out make sure that all systems really are working safely, extra safely for this mission, remembering Apollo 13, before setting off for the moon in about two and a half hours. This is Colin Riach in the Apollo studio. That's all for now. Thank you very much, Colin.